Okay, so this right here is a bait that has caught me a lot of fish over the years. And my two favorite ways to fish it is weightless or Texas rigged with like a quarter ounce or three eighths weight. Okay, you can fish this, like I said, weightless, Texas rigged, wacky rigged, Carolina rigged, Nico rigged, whole bunch of ways. So you have a Gary Yamamoto 5 inch Cinco in the green pumpkin black plate color. It is number 297. Here you have the Guggen Baits Lunker Log. It is also a 5 inch stick bait and it is green pumpkin. You get 8 in a pack compared to the Senko where you get 10 in a pack, okay? I absolutely have to take a bait out of each package, compare the bait, the size, the way it hooks, the way it rigs, you name it, put it underwater, cast it, fish it, even if I don't catch a fish with it. I have to compare now, I am going to be completely honest. I am biased towards the Senko. Like, I've never fished the Lunker Log, and I already picked the Senko. But, in all reality, in all fairness, let's see if my opinion will change over the course of today's video. Okay, hey, Gary Yamamoto Senko. See that? GYB. Now, onto the Guggen Baits Lunker Log. And you will notice, one thing I'm going to tell you about the package, if you look, you see the tab at the top, you don't have a ton of tab because the clamshell or the container, the plastic container that's in the package, takes up almost the whole bag. I don't know how I feel about that. Lunker log. And then it should say, yep, Guggen right there. Does anybody notice anything different about these? And by the way, if you guys have fished these, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think, what you like better, and be honest. Let's see. Well, I know that the Senko is not very durable, but it's a fish-catching machine. I don't know about the Lunker Log. Uh, Slaunch sauce, salt. And, you know, the cool thing about the Senko, especially fishing it weightless, is that shimmy on the way down. You know what? We're going to do that right now. We're going to put this underwater. We're going to do a weightless taxes rig, and we're going to see the shimmy of the Senko. And then we're going to see the shimmy, you know, the appearance of a dead bait fish from the Lunker Log. We're gonna compare the two. And then we're gonna try and put the two side by side going down. So like I said, you have your three-aught hook. We're gonna put it in there weightless to start. And you have the Gary Yamamoto. Just had to double check that that's the one that I have. Okay, put your hook into the bait. Turn it. Okay, now you're going to match the hook to the bait and you're going to have your weightless Texas rig. Okay, so that was the Senko, and we have the same line, the same hook, except we do have the Lunker Log. So again, and another thing too that I've noticed is the top of the Senko style stick bait. 
I feel like it's a little more evenly shaped and maybe a little bit smaller than the top on the Lunker Log. But anyway, just like the Senko, hook into the bait or the bend, turn, okay. Now where the hook meets, so it should be perfectly straight. It is. So, like I said, you had the Senko, and yes, I just had to double check the center to make sure I knew which one was which. You had the Senko and the Lunker Log. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the underwater GoPro up, and I'm gonna try and let them fall without a hook, just shimmying side by side to show you guys an example. Now, one thing I just noticed, I don't know if it's because I had these in the pool, but the Gary Yamamoto Senko actually looks a little darker than the Lunker Log does. And you will see, they're basically the same bait, but uh, if I had to pick one right now, I think I'm still gonna say Yamamoto because I've caught fish with it, but I really don't have, I don't know yet. Where the hook was on the Gary Yamamoto, it looks like it's a little torn. And where the hook was on the Lunker Log, I'm having a hard time finding, right there. It's not as torn on the Lunker Log as it, or is it? No, the Yamamoto is a little bit more torn than the Lunker Log is. If you take a look at these side by side, they are almost identical. Now, I thought by looking at the package when I was at the store, I said, oh man, the Lunker Log's a little bit bigger. You know, they're both a five inch. Not quite. I mean, look. Put it side by side. Look at it. See that? Basically, seven foot one, medium heavy power fast action. I just have a hook on there. And then I brought my spinning rod with eight pound fluorocarbon and a hook. And I'm gonna fish the Senko and the Lunker Log weightless. Um, I don't think I'm going to catch anything. I'm at a lake that I don't do very good at. <laughs> but, I mean, I found the spot that has the least amount of wind for right now. And even if I don't catch anything, I can compare the Lunker Log and the Senko. And I've already caught fish in the Senko, you know, in the past a bunch of different ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the Lunker Log. Yep, that is the same log that I tested in the pool. Let's get this in there. Okay. Here we go again. And because it's already been hooked in the pool, let's see how it hooks a second time. Should be just, just like that. Okay. Done deal. Now you'll notice when you cast, when you cast the Senko, you'll kind of get that, that unique noise, that whoosh. And I found that you get it with a casting outfit and spinning, but you get it 
with spinning more than you do anything. So, oh yeah. And let me tell you what, <laughs> sounds just like a Senko. Had to start with it. So since I'm not catching any fish, we're gonna try something cool. We're gonna test the durability even more. Uh, this is the Lunker Lug, yep. It gets torn up weightless, just like the Senko does after, you know, a bunch of casts. So let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, it's torn up, good. I mean, sometimes a Senko will get torn up really good. When you have it weightless, sometimes it won't, but that's definitely taking a beating. So, let's try to rig it up. Let's try to rig it up on our caster. Remember, this was tested underwater, fished weightless. We're gonna rig it up with a quarter ounce weight. Texas rigged like that. Boom. Still holding together. That just hurt really bad. The Lunker Log is surprisingly durable. I mean, but now this is the, I don't know, nine or 10th time I've had this bait hooked, or maybe more. It's been casted, it's been fished in a pool filled with chlorine, it's been on spinning tackle casting, you name it. Yeah. If you were to ask me, what do I pick? The Gary Yamamoto Senko or the Guggen Bates Lunker Log? I am going to pick the Gary Yamamoto Senko. And after seeing how durable, how crazy durable the Lunker Log is, and just how much I put it through, I'm sure some of you guys are surprised. Like, why would you pick the Senko? That is only because the Senko came first. The Senko is the original. I've caught a lot of fish on the Senko. A lot of smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, pike, sunfish, you name it. Weightless, wacky rig, Texas rig. I did have a lot of fun with the Lunker Log, and that will not stay still. The Lunker Log is a great bait. The Lunker Log literally reminds me exactly like the Senko. It casts the same. It sounds the same on the cast. The durability is better than the Senko. At least, I, it, that's my opinion. And, I mean, besides the durability, maybe the shape at the top of both of the baits, and a few other minor things, I think they are very close. Um, the Lunker Log, like I said, uh, it's surprised me. I mean, I thought from the beginning, oh, Cinco all the way, that Lunker Log's going to be dumb. I like the Lunker Log. I'll definitely throw it. Now, you guys got to do me a favor and leave me a comment in the section below. What do you guys like better, the Senko or the Lunker Log? The Senko or the Log? Log, Senko. Now, for those of you that have fished it and caught fish with it, because I've caught fish on the Senko, but not the Lunker Log, how does it last? Is it only one or two fish? Uh, do you guys prefer the Senko? Do you guys think they could have done anything different with the Lunker Log? If you think there's anything that I missed in the video, let me know in the comments. You guys know I will always respond. And just like every other video, if you're new to my channel, I do have... 10 of my best fishing videos linked in the description if you guys want to check those out. I cannot wait to hear your guys' feedback on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.